Now in this lesson we look at an introduction to vectors. A vector quantity has both direction and magnitude. And when we talk about the magnitude of a vector we're talking about its size. Let's consider this vector here. Now it can be labelled three different ways. It can be labelled as OA, capital OA with the little arrow on top or smaller case A with a little squiggly line underneath it or the smaller case A again but in bold, okay, bolded. So the arrow represents the direction. The length of the line represents the magnitude. So let's look at an example. We need to complete the table based on the vectors below. Now the first row is complete. We have vector AB, okay, which is denoted by P. 3, 5. What does that mean? That means we go across 3 and up 5. So that's the way, three ways of denoting that particular vector. What about vector CD? Well, let's have a look at it. It would be letter M, okay, that would be the name of the vector. Now, in terms of distance across and up or down, we're going across 4 and down 3, so negative 3 there. So in brackets, we'd write 4, negative 3. Now, what about the vector BA? Well, this is when the direction is very important. Okay, BA is going from the B to the A. So that arrow, if you like, gets reversed. So as a result, when we talk about letter P, it's the negative of it, okay? It's the reverse direction. And when we write its coordinates, or which coordinates we're going from, we start at the B and we go towards A. So to do that, we go across minus 3 and we go down, so negative 5. So we have minus 3 and minus 5. Now what about DC? Well again, okay, that arrow is pointing in the direction CD, so we want to reverse that. So now we're looking at the vector DC. So as a result, the M, we're going to write that as minus M. And in terms of direction, we're going from the D to the C. So we go across minus 4, okay, 4 in a negative direction, and we're going up 3. So we write that as minus 4, 3. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson, just a short lesson on our introduction to vectors. Good luck with your questions.